Hello my dear guest. Today I want to show you how you can easily get params from the URL using static or dynamic method. I personally use static like 80% of the time. But depending on your use case, you can choose between static or dynamic. Let's see our use case. We have this URL and what we want to do is to get this 20 because it's our params. In our code, we have this customer component. It has button just to show you the difference between static and dynamic method. And in component, I've already imported router that navigates to random page. So first, what we will do is to navigate to our routing. We need to specify that this route has params. So we will say ID. Just to note, this ID is case sensitive. So be careful about it. After this, we navigate to our component. First, we need to import activated root service. I will say private root, and we'll say activated root. As this, we can get actually our params. I will use first, I will use getter. So I will say get customer ID and return this root snapshot. Here you have two options. You can use params map or params, but it's preferably to use params map because params is old and it's kind of deprecated. And in params map, we will say, I want ID. As it is, let's show it on our page. So we navigate to our customer component HTML and we will say H1 and let's say customer ID. So what we have when we navigate to our page, we have our ID, it's the same. And when we navigate to different uh, params, it also changes. Now let's see a different method. We navigate to our component TS file and let's say it's public ID. It will be string or null. And after this, in the constructor, we will say this ID and let's pass our value. And let's show it on our page, h1 and ID. So the difference when we first navigate to our page, it's the same, but when we navigate to different page, our static stays the same and the dynamic changes. To fix it, what we can do, we navigate our component TS and we can actually subscribe uh, to our params map because it's observable. So we'll say this root, params map, subscribe. Here we will have data and let's say this ID equals to data get ID. Let's check. And now when we navigate to a different page, it also changes. But at work, I usually have uh, like this one and I load data from, from the server or something else. And the last one to show you that it's case sensitive, let's change this ID to ID. And here we will also change to ID. And as you can see, there is no data. So it's just to make you sure that it's case sensitive. And that's it. It's nice to remember to be kind to yourself. Have a great day. Bye.